close your eyes and establish the intention that you're going to stay with the breath. Be with it all the way in, all the way out. And don't let that intention be replaced by anything else. If other intentions do come up, just let them fall away. If you find yourself slipping off of your first intention and going for the other ones, remind yourself that you can think about other things any other time. But right now is a good time to train the mind. And then train the mind in having good feeding habits. As the Buddha said, the mind feeds on three kinds of food. Just as the body has food, the mind has its own food. One food is consciousness, just knowing things at the senses. One is contact. When sights come, sounds, aromas, tastes, tactile sensations, ideas come. We feed off of these things. And then finally there are the intentions of the mind itself. And of the three, that's the most important. Because sights and sounds, etc., they come and they go. They're like little snacks. Nothing really nourishing. But your intentions really do form the food of your life. What you intend to make out of your life. What's important to you, what's not important to you. That's how you feed. And you want to make sure that you feed well. Because some of your intentions really are junk food. They taste good, but they're going to be bad for you down the line. Other intentions are like health food. They may not be so flavorful at the beginning, but they're good for you. They make you strong. In particular, they make the goodness of the mind strong, which is important. The strength of the body comes and goes. We're born and the body develops, and for a while it seems like it's just going to get better and better all the time. And then it turns on you and starts deteriorating. And it doesn't ask permission and it doesn't give warning. A pain comes in and doesn't tell you this pain is going to go away soon or it's going to last. You stop being able to do things, and again, you don't know whether it's going to be a permanent saying goodbye or whether it's going to come back. And then finally it does all go. But with the mind, the strength of the mind doesn't have to fall away. So you develop it by feeding it off of good intentions, based on what the Buddha said are your four sources of strength, conviction and the importance of your actions. That when you do something skillful, it's going to have good results for you. If you do something unskillful, it's not going to give good results. Based on that, you're persistent. You just stick with the principle of trying to do what's skillful and abandon what's not. You have to be mindful to remember these things so you don't forget and do things that you know better than to do. Concentration and discernment, like we're doing right now, getting the mind focused and getting it very clear about what's happening inside, which things you should go with, which things you shouldn't. All of these things strengthen your intentions in the right direction. So look at the intentions of your mind. You're, you're born into this world. What do you want out of it? There are some things that we want, but then we have to leave them behind as we leave the world. Other things we can want, and they, take, they go with us. In other words, the good qualities you build into the mind. So try to strengthen your mind as much as you can. Feed it well, and then you don't have to worry about going hungry.